Shocking news from California. Major company makes assassination threat at Trump by FreedomDaily.com. Liberal companies have been mobilizing against Donald Trump almost immediately after his inaugur he was inaugurated. After Trump issued his executive order banning travel from seven Muslim countries, those liberal companies really went into overdrive pub uh, publicly opposing both the order and Trump himself. But this liberal CEO, he just took it way too far. Most liberal CEOs keep to opposing uh, Trump in the usual way. Howard Schultz, CEO of Starbucks, announced that he would hire 10,000 refugees in response to Trump's executive order. It's irritating to many Americans, but it's not criminal. What Ted Kornblum just did, though, is Kornblum is the CEO of Megatone Guitars and Amplifiers, and apparently he isn't very bright like a typical liberal. He opposes Donald Trump. But most liberals are at least smart enough to know that posting assassination fantasies online isn't the best idea. At the very least, it will get the attention of the Secret Service rather quickly. Yet Kornblum still went ahead and posted an assassination threat on both Facebook and Twitter. He evidently really, really wanted to make sure everyone knew about it. It didn't take long for Twitter users to start bringing the threats to the attention of the Secret Service and to call out the media for ignoring it. Viva la France, this is Ted Kornblum, CEO of at Megna Tone USA, uh, who called for the assassination of hashtag Trump. Let at Megna, uh, Megna Tone uh, Ted no, we will not forget. Hashtag make America great. This is his thing here. Rest easy, people. It'll take only 100 days till Trump gets a bullet in the head. Uh, John uh, Cardillo at Secret Service. This is Ted Kornblum, CEO of Magnetone Amplifiers. They let them know. Can you imagine the reaction of the CEO of, the, of a right-wing company had said the same thing about Obama while he was in office, the media would have had a field day. But because it's Trump, the media is silent. Still, even without any media attention, Kornblum realized that he had stepped in it big time and put out an apology on Facebook. <laughs> wow. Earlier today, a frivolous and sensitive political post went out on Facebook. Uh, but this was Magnetone uh, uh, that did it, not Kornblum. Okay, earlier today, a frivolous, uh, insensitive uh, political post went out on Facebook. It should not have. Magnetone is not a political organization, respects the beliefs and opinions of all people, and does business according, accordingly. I personally share these values of our brand, I sincerely regret this careless mistake and apologize to anyone anywhere who may have been offended. I can assure you this will not happen again. Thank you. Oh, it is him. Ted Kornblum, founder and CEO of Megatone. Oh, okay. So he is the founder of it. I, I didn't... I'm a little uh, tired. Still, the damage may have already been done. The Magnetone Facebook page appears to have been yanked. Nothing about the assassination threat, including the apology, appears uh, on the Magnetone website. Kornblum appears to have gone underground, possibly in fear of being arrested by the Secret Service. It's one thing to peacefully protest, but liberals don't seem to understand that when you start advocating for violence or rioting or physically attacking people, you can no longer call what you're doing a protest. And it certainly can't be called peaceful either. Calling for the president to be assassinated isn't just as uh, just an invalid form of protesting. It's illegal and stupid. Yeah, but I would also add uh, Loretta Lynch to that when she called for people to, uh, there would be blood on the streets, 
I mean, she didn't actually say uh, to get at Trump, but she was inciting violence. She should be arrested, and she should have been uh, in, uh, called in by Secret Service. Uh, to, Secret Service should have paid her a visit, actually. That's exactly it. I mean, it, it's disgusting. That's who came to my mind. This is just an idiot, the ten, Ted Kornblum. Well, you know, he's a moron. That's all. Look at him. Can't you tell he's a moron? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.